Let's take a look real quickly here at setting up a reverb, reverb for front of house. Uh, so here we've got our channel test one, two, coming through front of house. So let's take this test dry signal and let's add some reverb to it. All right, so over here, uh, let's see if you can see it there. Lower left corner is the, uh, all the effects. They've got uh, four effects engines here. We're just gonna select FXA, first one. And what pops up is a reverb, digital reverb. And when I selected that button, the uh, screen has automatically brought up the uh, reverb. So let's add this reverb to the overall front of house mix. So we've got the reverb selected and what we want to do, and as you can tell here, the uh, green light's coming on. That's the channel we're going to use. We want to add uh, this channel to the reverb engine. So we're going to bring it up, test one, two, two, two. And as you can tell in the left corner here, uh, probably not left corner, but um, on the screen here, this shows how loud the signal is that's coming in. Test one, two, and just like on the other videos, if you've seen them, you want to be uh, respectful of the signal that's coming into it. You don't need to drive it loud. You want, to, you want a regular level of signal coming in and you can modify it later. But uh, it's generally pretty good not to run the reverb, test one, two, test one, two, into, uh, into the yellow that it's getting there. It's, uh, if you will, a saturation limit. Test one, two. So we add a little bit of reverb to it. Now over here is our master reverb. Now you're probably thinking, where, where's the reverb? I don't have any reverb. Well, what we got to do is the effects return, because this is the master send. On the effects return, we need to turn that up. Okay, as you can tell, the uh, master fader is over here, but we don't hear any reverb coming through. So let, let's take a look at this. Let's go back to the main mix. Test one, two. Test one, two. That, see, it's still dry. So where's our reverb? Test one, two. Let's go over to our aux mixes. Now, the whole left side of the board is still front house mix. But over here, let me get the camera moved. Over here to the right, this little sub panel over here, now we can see all the effects. We can see auxes that come in. Um, we have all the monitor sends here. So let's take a look at the auxes. And because we're on A, Effects A, we need to turn Effects A up. Now you can't see it on the scribble strips, but uh, this first one here is FXA, A, B, C, and D. So we're just going to add some more reverb. Test two, two, check. Okay, so now we, there we go. Now we have our full 32 channels here again, and we've got reverb coming through. Now, if we want to control it, the reverb, we can go back to the reverb channel and we can turn it down here. Test, one, two, three. Okay, so it's faded out, rather dry. Let's add it back in. Check. Or, which I usually try to prefer to do because it stops all the faders moving, is I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it. All right, let's see here the, uh, okay, I don't know how tight I can get in here without a, all right, as you can tell here, here's the FX sends. Now we've got a vocal mic channel selected here. This is vocal dub. The FX channels here, that shows what it is. And up here we have aux mixes. So we can tell just by looking at this channel, the feeds that are going into which auxes. Now, on this particular board, we have 16 auxes and four uh, FX sends. Your board may have more or less than what's shown here. So let's take a look at this. So we, we've left the front house mix alone, but what we want to do is turn this down, this FX sends down a little bit. So we can do that. Okay, there's a button right here, aux sends. We select that, and then what that has done is it has brought up 
all of the aux sends for this channel, this particular channel. Now here, going across the top, we have uh, 8 through 16 in this area right here, and then just a few over here, A, B, C, and D. So, what we're going to do is we're going to select A, which is back here, because here these knobs control the effects. Now it's selected on FXA, which I believe we can, yeah, we can, we can touch the screen and select which bank we need to use. What we're going to do is we're going to turn down FXA, how much we have going to reverb test. Okay. Now if we look over, as you can tell, the level is down on FXA. We didn't have to touch the faders. We didn't have to go any kind of layering. We can adjust the auxes as well as the effects through this, um, through the whole fat channel. Now I'm going to increase it back up. Test one, two, two. Check, which you can't see, but I'm, I'm turning that knob I showed you just a minute ago. So we can control the effects through here as well. Okay, so that's how we get the effects out the front of house. Okay, so we saw how to get effects to uh, in the front of house. And I've got a little bit of effects going on right now. So what we're going to do here, test one, two, two. We're going to add a little bit more so we can hear it. So let's say that we need to get this effects also through monitors. Now normally you don't put reverb or anything like that through the monitors, but if somebody has a real need for it, this is how we can get the effects to go through uh, the monitors. So just make sure you got whatever effect it is uh, dialed in. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, uh, this is the front of house level there because we don't need to listen to it in front of house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and select one of our mixes and we're gonna use mix one for this. Test one, two. Okay, now, as you can tell, everything's turned yellow. So now we're on an aux mix. And here is the uh, fader that we need to uh, add more reverb back into the mix. So let's say here that vocal dub, mix one, is all, uh, the, is all the uh, auxiliary mix for the vocalist dub. So we've got him set up here, test one, two, test, and that's his monitor level coming through. But he's asking for a little bit of reverb. So just like on the front of house, this is what we're going to do. So right now we're looking at all the possible channels that can go into aux, uh, aux mix one. But over here on the board, we can select our aux inputs just like we did on front of house. So the whole left side, just like on front of house, this is all uh, inputs 1 through 24. Even though it's 32 channel, we can still get the 32 channel over here, but we're looking at 1 through 24. So the right side of the panel, just like front of house, becomes sort of the master, uh, the master sense for everything. So right here is FX A, B, C, and D. So what we're going to do is we're going to add FX A, which is the reverb, into the monitor. So it's just a matter of test. It's a matter of just running up the fader. And I'm pretty sure you can hear that. It's sort of loud. Test. One. Test. So now we have reverb coming through the monitors. And when it's enough, or if it's too much, you know, we can turn it down here if we want. Test. Well, actually, that's, that's their main one. Test. Test. We can add it. There we go. We'll just turn it down from there. So, also through here, we'll go back to uh, the mix here, test one. We can go back into the, now as you can tell, so the purple, the violet color here, we can turn, we can turn the, um, the amount of reverb down here as well. Of course, it also affects what's happening everywhere, front house as well as in the monitors. Test one, two. So on something like this, we could probably set it where it is, Let's go back to mix one, two, and then maybe control it a little bit through here. So that's how you get effects into the monitors.
And here we are back at front house.